this project was to create a Commodore 64 emulated machine, but uh, to be able to use the original video port, the original power port, and at least one joystick and a power switch. So I'm using this Commodore 64 Audi case is what you would call it, I guess. And, uh, and let me see if I can get a picture of this. Well, not exactly. Hang on. All right, that's better. All right, so I got an old VIC-20 uh, that I have for, for parts. So I got the power uh, connector and the plate, the switch, and the joystick port from it. And I also took the... video port put this down hang on take the lid off Here. okay it's not completed and it's a bit messy so what I got is a Raspberry Pi Zero connected up to the various components here and uh it was quite a journey in doing this i'm, I'm gonna go over a little bit of the problems i had with y'all and uh i'm gonna put this back together and show it in action all right so here it is connected using a standard color 64 monitor cable standard Color 64 power supply and standard Atari 9 joystick. And here we have BMC 64 running. Go to. Oh, I'm going to try to go to the menu. Hang on. Okay. Now, when I was first doing this, I was able to use the joystick to transverse through the menu system. But uh, it would not work in, you know, like games or whatnot. Or even writing a basic program, I couldn't read the nut. the joystick port. Nothing would come through. Uh, what location? Fifty six three twenty. Yeah, and fifty six three twenty one. Uh, so I couldn't figure out what was going on. However, and even setting uh the ports you know to gpio bank 2 because that's what i got it hooked up to it wasn't working and i kept messing with it and changing settings and then suddenly it just began to work so i'm unsure what was the cause of that uh also for some reason i can't like save To a disk. Let's see. If I top in a program, Okay. 
I say save. Okay, it's in there, right? I'm going to reset it. Okay. Disk. I try to load that disk. Get a directory. And the program saves gone. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh the only workaround I found for that is if you save it as a snapshot. And then It'll, it'll work. And then if I okay, so. And then there's the program. So I don't know what the disk, the, the, I don't know what the deal is with uh, saving the disk and loading from disk and it surviving a reset. I have no idea. I don't know why it's not working. But other than that, I like BMC64. Uh, and that's, I'm not sure if you build upon somebody else's code or not. Maybe it's something, got something to do with that. I have no idea. But, uh, so this thing is almost complete. I've got to have audio. Right now I have no audio. I tried using the Pi Zero. You know the where you can assign the two channel audio through the a couple of pins uh, for the Raspberry Pi Zero, which is what I'm using, and that's not it's not working. I tried everything that I could think of. And, uh, so I guess what I'll do is, uh, and I, I exhausted every possibility. I tried different combinations, couldn't get nothing to work. And, uh, so I think I'm just going to get an, uh, an HDMI uh, to RCA and use that. So that's why I've got the case still open and, uh, I've not got everything battened down because I've, I've still got to take the, the Raspberry Pi and, you know, mess with it. And uh, then after I get that in there, then I'll close up the rest of the ports and, uh, and call this done. Uh, it's nice to have a an emulated 64. Uh that you can use the same power supply, same monitors, joysticks, whatever. So that's what I was going for, and it's almost done. So besides other things, that's what I've been working on. All right, until the next video, guys. Talk to you later.